This is Brian on the 4th of April and this is the current stage of the sloped pallet garden. So here is the flip flop and it just, uh, I won't bother reading, it just flips up like this. And uh, it's at the water, um, as the water comes up from the little air lift pop and it circulates around. Anyway, what I want to show you today is underneath the aquaponics thing so I've got this little um, perspex or whatever you call it plastic stuff and one section of um, see it covers off it stops the air or it, it's not so much stopping the air as holding the moisture in in this one section so you get uh, an aeroponics effect and I just want to show you the roots there's the roots, not in aer aeroponics, aeroponics, and then a little bit wetter on this side, and uh, not in aeroponics. So as you can see, there's a pretty dramatic difference, and this is just proof of concept. I haven't, I should have done this, you know, far tighter seal to get more moisture in it, but that means that your soil level. In, in this type of pallet garden need not be that deep because you can have holes in the bottom and some sort of plastic and oh excuse me and um, you know you can get uh, good root growth without um, without having a huge amount of soil so it's just a potential aeroponic technique that's totally uh, more um, I guess low tech than what's currently out there and also you have um, <clears throat> you'll be using less soil and the water will come down through the soil onto the roots so they'll, um, they'll always have the moisture coming from top instead of the normal aeroponic thing like that from fancy um, um, atomizer thing making uh, mist and stuff like that so it's a potentially useful thing and uh, we'll have to do it R&D um, you know in our backyard no one's really going to no one's really going to try this in a lab because lab science is done for big companies now this isn't a, a big company type of thing but as you can see it's not that you know, pretty productive. Thanks. Bye-bye. And this is just a trial run.